Hey everybody, it's us, the Jonas Brothers. Howdy. We have shifted the European dates to later this year, but that is only because we have some exciting projects that we're very excited to share with you at a later point. European fans, we love you, we can't wait to see you. It's been long overdue, and we are so excited to play these shows later this year in the fall. So make sure to hold on to your tickets. We will be having more information to come, but we cannot wait to see you. The link we'll below has more info. Thank you for your love and support over all the years, and uh, we'll get you more info. Hello, best friend, and welcome, welcome back to my channel, girl. I hope you're all having the most incredible day. This is the first time that you're watching my channel. My name is Sebastian, and I welcome you you guys with open arms i do pop culture videos every single day honey so if you're looking for a new messy best friend you have found me so why don't you grab a snack and a drink hit that subscribe button because best friend tomorrow is my birthday and today i will be celebrating it with you guys at 4 p.m pacific standard time i will be going live so if you want to celebrate your messy best friend honey i will see you there but you know who's not celebrating europe europe is not celebrating because the jonas brothers are being i don't know what the hell they're being girl they're being they're not even classified as being uh being messy they're being just down and dirty and nasty okay um i don't know if you guys saw me report about this yesterday but i i i did it for tiktok and i was like girl i forgot to do it for youtube so listen check this out Hey everybody, it's us, the Jonas Brothers. Howdy. We have shifted the European dates to later this year, but that is only because we have some exciting projects that we're very excited to share with you at a later point. European fans, we love you, we can't wait to see you. It's been long overdue, and we are so excited to play these shows later this year in the fall. So make sure to hold on to your tickets. We will be having more information to come, but we cannot wait to see you. The link we'll below has more info. Thank you for your love and support over all the years, and uh, we'll get you more info very soon. The way that I'm not even like a Jonas Brothers fanatic, and the way that I'm so livid livid for you guys the tour was supposed to start next month next month what the hell exciting projects are you talking about what exciting projects the exciting project is that you are blessed enough to go on a damn tour and earn millions by all of your fans buying your expensive ass tickets buying your merch okay flying to different countries and cities, booking hotels, Ubers, the damn food at the damn airport, which is so damn expensive, okay, bitch? Listen, girl, the way that he said, exciting projects, are you insane? You are canceling a tour that's supposed to start next month because of exciting projects? You don't do that, boo-boo. You commit to what you have committed to, which is the damn tour. Listen, you should be lucky enough. You should feel blessed enough that people are still rocking with you guys. You know what I mean? People still love the Jonas Brothers. They go hard for the Jonas Brothers. And you're telling me that because of exciting projects and the way that they don't even, like, apologize. The way that they look so, like, nonchalant. Like, hey, girl, it's sunny outside. <laughs> hey, Linda, do you want a lemonade? Like, it's giving that. I, I am... I am so, if I knew bigger words, I would use them, bitch. But I am livid. I am livid for all of you guys. I don't know what the Jonas Brothers fans are called. The Jonas Heads or the 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 Jonas, the Jonas Aiders. What, the, the Jonas uh, Arianators. Arianators. So, uh, oh no, that's Selenators. What is Arian, Ariana Grant? Anyways, bitch. Uh, the Jonas Brothers fans, girl, I don't know what the hell. I mean, they don't even say sorry for booking of tickets, flying across the world, hotels. Like, I am so mortified by them. And I don't know what t type of person on their team, like, gave this the green light and said, yeah, that's, that's great, Joe. That's great, Joe. Are you kidding me? What? Listen, their team hates them. Their team absolutely hates them. Now, listen, look at some of the comments. Exciting projects doesn't really cover the cost of the hotels and flights people. Team uh team Sophie Turner. I don't even have tickets and I'm mad at this audacity. Same. Can't wait to see you. Well, they clearly can. Oh, not even a sorry. That's the thing, man. That's the thing. Just ask for a refund as I'll be on holidays during the new day. By the way, was this an apology? Did I miss? I'm sorry. The Jonas Brothers have become the friend that cancels when better plans come up. Ooh. <laughs> hey, Jeremiah. Uh, in my opinion, if you've committed to touring, the, your tour. What, what? In my opinion, if you've committed to touring, you tour. Point blank period. Absolutely. I just feel like. 
You should be so blessed for the life that you are living that you get to perform your music in front of thousands of people and make millions of dollars and you have more exciting plans so that therefore you're canceling. What about everyone who took time off their work, who literally like made all these arrangements, like probably took out loans in the bank, uh, spend their, you know, life savings to go to this damn concert. Like I just honestly, I think it's so I think it's so rude, especially this damn video. I feel like a statement would have been better than seeing their their faces, which I usually find very cute. And they're just so incredibly shameless and so incredibly, I just don't give a damn. Anyways, girl, what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. I'm so sorry for all you Jonas Brothers fans, girl. This is this is some this is some straight up bullshit. And you know what, girl? Taylor Swift would never. All right, best friend. So I will tell you the following. I think that. The Jonas Brothers, like I said, they have just completely turned off every single Jonas Brother fan left, okay? The fact that they're still so successful, they should literally be like thanking their lucky stars that thousands and thousands of people are still checking for them. Now that's the tea, honey, okay? I'm so sorry, best friend. Because it's not, it's not a a a, a normal thing for a band to break up, go away for so many years, and then come back and be so successful again. I mean, it is a very lucky situation that they're in, bitch, okay? And um, I just honestly feel like saying that there's exciting projects, that is what really got to me. I'm not even a Jonas Brothers fan, bitch, but like I said in my video, I am fucking livid for all of you guys. The fact that they were so nonchalant and so damn right, just low down, dirty, nasty. Get nasty! You nasty. Nah, you little nasty. Little nasty. Really fucking pissed me off for you guys. The fact that, you know, going to a concert is expensive, okay? Going anywhere is expensive. Buying groceries is expensive right now, best friend. So the fact that, like, people purchased tickets that probably were not cheap, booked hotels, Ubers, food at the airport, okay, taking time off from work, blah, 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 blah. And then they're like, some really exciting projects are coming. So we're going to move the whole tour for later in the year. No, the fuck you're not, bitch. The exciting project is that you still have a damn career and you're still selling out arenas all over the damn world. So you should be on your fucking knees if your tight ass pants uh, allow you to. And thank your lucky damn stars that, you know, you still have fucking fans that are, are, are coming for you. But now I've seen that a lot of fans are refunding and a lot of fans are pissed off, best friend. And you know what, girl? I don't blame them. I don't the fuck blame them, okay? Look at some of the comments. We are moving the dates to make more money. We aren't sorry. Not even a sorry. The comments did not disappoint. It's actually insane to announce it this way with zero mention of refunds for a tour that starts in a month. I'm so disappointed. Girl, honestly, seriously. Look, just ask for a refund and, it'll, and, uh, and I'll be on holidays during the new date. By the way, was this an apology? Not the nonchalant way of announcing the rescheduling as if it's nothing. In my opinion, if you've committed to touring, you tour. Point blank, period. Okay, period. Not even a damn I'm sorry, girl. Are you insane? Girl, you are not Taylor Swift. It doesn't hurt to say sorry, you know. Someone should tell them the most of us have jobs, responsibilities, bills to pay. We can't just go. I spent a few grand on this, but that's fine. Let's do it again later this year. Girl, ooh, that would, ooh, girl, it would piss me off so much. Uh, this is a bit inconvenient. I don't even have tickets and that pissed me off. Obviously, you can wait to see us. Listen, the hotel prices on this day are not affordable anymore. Munich will have, uh, uh, so it says, why? The show in Munich will be postponed to the beginning of Oktoberfest. The hotel prices on this day are not affordable anymore. Did they just think that people who bought flights and tickets were going to be as excited? Oh yeah, I lost money. I'm waiting to see the projects they're working on. Would have appreciated this info a bit earlier before hotels and trains were booked. Oh girl, that, oh, I'm pissed. The fact that the Jonas Brothers were so incredibly rude, so incredibly careless, and so incredibly non not serious about the thing is what just got me, best friend. Like, going to a concert is scary enough. You know, going to a concert, buying anything nowadays is scary because you work hard for your money. And you want to make sure that what you work hard for is 
something that is you know worth it and and you're giving your money to people who who deserve it who are worthy of your hard earned money but then you turn around and it's like that i mean i swear it's like those 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 people that are like oh you know what uh, sorry, Kelly, can't come out tomorrow. Um, my friend Rick invited me uh, to an event and I really, I mean, I have to go, right? Like, I mean, you don't cancel plans, you know? Although, I'm not gonna lie, bitch, I love when people cancel plans on me. Oh, bro, feels like an orgasm, best friend. Like, you know, here's the thing, when I'm in a good mood, I make plans, okay? When I'm in, the good, when I'm in a good mood and tipsy, I will make so many, golfing tomorrow? Sure, yeah, let's go. Bitch, what? Girl, no. Then the day of the of the of the plan comes and I'm I'm literally like regretting everything. Now I don't wish that nobody gets sick or nothing. I'm just like, please, Lord Jesus, let them cancel. And when I hear that ding, hey, I'm so sorry, Sebastian. Do you think we can reschedule? Yes, 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 girl, yes, let's reschedule. Like Oh, it, it's honestly like music to my ears, okay? But I don't have thousands of people buying me tickets, you know? It's very different. But yeah, I love canceling. I love I love when people can I don't normally cancel. But when people cancel on me, girl, ooh, 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 akuna matata, what a wonderful phrase. I'm, I'm serious, bitch. I'm so sorry, but that's just the damn truth, bitch. So if you want to get me something for my birthday, uh, no, I mean, here's the thing. I just, I really feel for the, Joan, uh, for the Jonas Brothers fans. I really, really feel for them. And I think that it's so unfair. It's so tacky. It's so low. And it's just so crazy how he said, because of better uh, and, you know, exciting uh, freaking uh, things. I would honestly, I would have lied. You know, I would have just straight up lied and said, you know what? Kevin hurt his um, his Adam's apple or, you know, Joe Joe Jonas was wearing such tight pants that you know it it you know it broke his balls. I don't know, bitch. You know, make something up, but don't say you have other exciting plans. All right. Anyways, girl, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Um, I will tell you this, best friend. If it would me, if it was me, if if I was in your position and you have tickets. I don't think that I would be able to go to this concert. I would ask for a damn refund. I promise you I would because I just couldn't support people who left me and canceled my plans because of more exciting, you know, projects. I just couldn't do it. Like I couldn't do it. I don't know if that's being petty, but there's there's no one in the world that I would I would yes Selena Gomez and Britney Spears yes for sure but not the damn Jonas Brothers girl go see somebody else bitch you know what I mean anyways what do we think let me know in the comments don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys at 4 p.m. love you guys Mwah. bye girl it is like 9 a.m. and I'm over here freaking screaming I don't know how my neighbors haven't like checked me yet because it's 9 a.m. I always wait till after nine to do my videos and I get loud. You you guys know I get loud. And I try I'm trying not to be get loud, but I still feel like I'm really fucking loud. How do they not like say anything? Anyways, girl, I gotta go. I love you all so much and I'll see you guys later today. Bye.